Hello everybody and welcome back to Experiments with Sweet. Today we're going to be learning about crystal growth and we're going to be growing some crystals of our own. But before we get started, what are crystals? Now I'm sure we've all looked at crystals before and we can recognize them, but scientifically speaking, crystals are materials which are made of molecules that are organized in a repeating pattern. And we can make them of our own with a string, a pen, water, and a jar. For this experiment, you will need a cup of water, a string, a pot, a weight, and four cups of sugar. The first step is to boil the water. While the water is boiling, we're going to tie one end of our string to our weight. I'm going to cut off the extra string over here. That, over here. And once we've done that, that, we're going to take our pen and we're going to tie the other end of the string toward, to that. Like this. Now that the water's boiling, we're going to slowly add sugar to our water. When the sugar stops dissolving in the water, we're going to stop adding the sugar. Now that the sugar isn't dissolving anymore, I'm going to add the sugar into our jar. In this case, I'm actually using the glass because I don't have another jar. And we're going to put the thing we made beforehand into the jar. Now if we wait three to four days and allow for it to crystallize, we're going to get something like this. Now let's understand why this happened by looking at a 2D version of a crystal growing. Why do crystals grow? First we need to talk about supersaturation. When the water cools down, the water can't hold in as much sugar, which makes the solution supersaturated because there's more sugar than the water can hold. But even though the water has too much sugar, it still needs a place to put this extra sugar outside of solution. And this is called a nucleation site, and molecules will first solidify here, and once some of the material is solidified, the other molecules will align themselves to the crystal structure of the molecules that first solidified, and this will continue until the solution is no longer supersaturated. But if you think about it, while the molecules may be aligned at an atomic level, they can still have the larger shape of a circle, or any other shape other than a cube. Why are the molecules still growing into cubes? Well, the molecules are attracted to other molecules in a crystal, um, and whenever there's a corner, there are two exposed molecules for the molecule to get attracted to, which means it's more likely to solidify in that corner instead of on a side, which means that the corners get filled up, which leaves us in the shape of a square. So as crazy as it is for a molecular structure to be seen in such a large scale, relatively speaking, the reason for it happening is pretty simple. I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode of Experiments with Sweet. Make sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned to all of our latest videos.